uh, today's Gentleman's Combative stream. Today we are watching some Shuto brought to us by Michael Betts over at the Kakutogi Road. Excuse me, just organising myself. Uh, so we've got a bit of an intro here. And now that we've got this set up, I'll just do the whole social thing. Send out a shit into the Twitterverse. Just gonna hit the old refresh. I'm going to have to mute myself, otherwise stuff's gonna sound weird. That's what I need. Stop. There we go. That way we don't end up hearing myself over and over again while I send out this call into the wild copy. And there we go. All right, we're rolling. Uh, so while we wait for anybody to turn up and uh, our man Satori Sayama introduces shooting to the world, I will very briefly uh, explain to you what the Kakutogi Road is. Uh, so the Kakutogi Road is a Patreon that I uh, am a supporter thereof. Uh, and Michael reached out to me and he said he would give me access to some more of his ancient artifacts and videos if I uh, gave him a plug on the old YouTube. And so I am quite happy to do that because uh, he has already given me uh, more video than I can uh, reliably store on my computer. I've had to purchase another external hard drive uh, with which to contain the amount of uh, old shoot wrestling, old uh, professional wrestling, old mixed martial arts, old kickboxing, all of that that he uh, has built up an enormous collection of over his uh, lifetime. And so he's sharing that out with the world now, all from these defunct promotions that none of it's commercially available anywhere else. And so now uh, he also does uh, interviews with... Um, what would we call them? Personalities from that period of time. So he's had an interview with Billy Scott. That was extremely interesting. A really good read, going into depth about his match up against James Waring back in the UWFI, and uh, going into depth about the uh, Trevor Burbick match that happened against Nobuhiko Takata on the same card. As well as uh, he does sort of a event by event breakdown all the way from 1991 all the way through to uh, whenever currently is in uh, mid-1992 but that's every single PWFG every single uh, what would you call it every single UWFI every single rings event that has occurred as well as uh, kickboxing matches and various other interesting things that have happened in between the two all right so I'm gonna stop bullshitting about that now and I'll get on to talking about our fights so here looking extremely swole uh, is young Manabu Yamada facing against a guy whose name I missed, our man in the black trunks. I don't think it's Yuzo Tateshi. But they are both from Super Tiger Gym. And here we go. Of course, we've got a little bit of the old VHS artifacting, which is always fun to see. Uh, big, nice Harai Goshi by Yamada's opponent here. I should definitely hit pause and work out this guy's name. Give me exactly two seconds, ladies and gentlemen. I'll pull up a fight card. Wow. All right, I'm here. I'm real. I'm a real boy. I exist. All right. I believe this is Shuto Professional Shooting 3 or 7 or something like that. I'll just go home. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Manabu Yamada. We'll open up Topology because weirdly Topology is more complete than uh, Sherdog, which is something I never believed would happen, but has. Uh, I would like to see his fight, so I'm going to go all the way down the bottom to, I think this is this one. Uh, 
That's all I needed. Uh, Takashi. It's either Takashi Ishizaki or Takashi Tojo, and I think it's Takashi Tojo, but we'll work out afterwards. Alrighty, and I'll actually pay attention when they announce the names the next time, rather than talking over the top of our re-announcer. But, here we are. So, nice, nice Harai Goshi from Takashi there. And let's press play and continue, and wait for anybody to turn up. I believe the time is sort of 8.30 over in uh, the States. You can correct me if I'm wrong. So hopefully we'll get a person or two. But if we don't, who gives a shit? Alright, here we go. Working from inside Manabu Yamada's half guard. Uh, don't worry about the VHS artifacting that does clean up a bit later on in the video. As you can see, underneath the uh, tights there of Yamada, he is wearing shin guards, as was, in a, as was a necessity in a shooter. And uh, referee break. Yes, the ground fighting time used to be a lot shorter. Alright, nice long punch there from Yamada and into a big throw of his own, but immediately reversed by Takashi. Uh, Takashi wearing the champion tights. Into a crucifix position and Manabu Yamada just jumping up and Death Valley driving him. <laughs> Didn't get him out of the position, but it was pretty cool. Uh, Takashi stepping over the head here, probably going to fall over onto an armbar when he can. And the brick says referee, tells him to stand up. And back fighting. Low kick from Takashi, high kick from, high kick spinning back kick from uh, <laughs> Mr. Yamada there. You could definitely tell that Yamada was a uh, tiger mask guy. He loved spinning shit, uh, high kicks, very pretty high kicks in the tiger mask uh, tradition. Never did any pro wrestling yet that I know of. Although I do think that he actually uh, is a tailor. Oh, just du power bombs him out of the armbar. Awesome. Dumps Takeshi right on his face. Uh, yes, I believe that Manabu Yamada is a tailor for uh, professional wrestling gear. Because there was a little while ago, Kazushi Sakuraba posted a photo of him with a new set of shin guards smiling next to Manabu Yamada. Ooh. Was that a down or a slip there? Uh, I think the referee missed a potential down there because a nice left hook from Manabu Yamada dropped Takeshi down to the ground. Takeshi attempting to Americana Yamada from the bottom of a side control. I won't say I've never seen that work. I definitely have, but not on good grapplers. Or not when there wasn't like an enormous uh, strength difference. Anthony M, pleasure to see you here. Speaking of gear, how's the gear business going? Uh, it is going, uh, which is a surprise to us all. Uh, there was a period there where I was extremely busy. Uh, I just need to do another advertisement and let people know that I am open to uh, for commissions again. Because I do have a couple going at the moment, just waiting for some fabrics to arrive and then I can stitch them together, but it is going very well. I've also... Uh, being sort of prototyping new gear for myself, working on changing up the foams, making sure that they work well. So I think I've got everything like schmick now. It's really good. All right, here we are, round two. Another Harai Goshi from Takeshi here. Uh, TK Scissors, Nexus Escape from Manabu Yamada. And thank you very much for asking, Anthony M. It is a pleasure to let you know that. All righty, here we go. We've got top side control. Stepping over for the armbar as our man Manabu Yamada turtles. I wish I could show you the uh, shorts that I made yesterday for a friend of mine, but they are currently hanging out too dry. Uh, they are pretty sick. Alright, backstanding. Big punch from our man Manabu Yamada there, good long body punch. Big front kick from Takeshi, front kick from uh, Manabu Yamada, but gets countered with a right hand. Ooh, attempted overhook throw there, but our man Manabu Yamada has stalled out of that one. So Takeshi is forced to sprawl on him as he shoots in on a double. Uh, inverse triangle here. 
and then backs off the inverse triangle into the crucifix again. Trying to work the roll over. Manabu Yamada pinching his hands together. To stop him from going for... Oh, is he going to try and just straight armbar him out of the uh, thing? Oh, Yamada rolls out, goes into the uh, Achilles lock, but then the referee stands him up. There's 30 seconds on the ground rule. It's shit. <laughs> and I'm thankful that our man Satoru Sayama changed it. Alrighty. Oh, big punch from Manabu Yamada. Uh, stepping left hook is a bit wild. Uh, rolling Sabat there. Attempted Harai Goshi, but gets crumpled to the ground by Takeshi. And we're into the crucifix position again. Always turtling Manabu Yamada. Probably not good for you. <laughs> Alright, Takeshi working on the back here. Manabu Yamada working a single leg. Manages to stall out until the referee stands him up. All right, here we go. Long punch from Yamada. Lots of long punches from Yamada. Going for a uh, Cornish whip there. The uh, arm roll. Uh, but, and or Maki Komi for you judo codes, judo players. But he misses that one, and that's the end of the round, and we are on to round three. Not taking the round breaks is not giving me any chance to talk about anything else but the fighting. It's a pleasure to have you aboard the stream, Anthony, Mr. Anthony M, your homie Tony, over on Twitter, if you want to follow his pro wrestling thoughts. Alrighty, inserting the hooks here. Once again, on the uh, crucifix back take. All right, backstanding. Let's see what these guys do. Long straight from Manabu Yamada. Low kick from uh, Takeshi. And then high kick. Nice karate combination there from Manabu Yamada before he got taken down. Was a right high kick followed by a right punch on the same side. Uh, it sort of works the same as hooking and then throwing a straight punch on the same side in that it brings their guard out to the side so you can throw something straight down the middle. Of course, then he got taken down and then uh, stalled out on the ground. Ooh, nice, uh, nicely timed front kick there. Just stopped him. The uh, Sheba from Savat for you French nerds. Um, yeah, so just stomped on uh, the front of Manabu Yamada's thigh there. Just jammed him while he was trying to throw a punch. And once again, we're down here into this crucifix. Always into the crucifix. Back here again. Um, so if you want to get like a preview of what the Kaktogi Road will offer you, there is a free version of it over on the Shodog and the Mixed Martial Arts forums that just does the uh, the write-up of each event without the without the uh, video. And then over on Apollo Swede's YouTube channel is where he posts uh, the video. Uh, and so some of it is listed publicly for all to see. And so you can see some old Shudo events currently. I believe there's a bunch of old Shudo up there that he's just been putting up. Uh, lots of old FMW. Lots of old PWFG, I believe. Quite a lot of that is up and available for the public eye. Along with uh, some old stuff like uh, Willie Peters cage fighting tournaments. And there's a great little intro video to each one that uh, somebody I know managed to put together for him. Uh, nice one too. Oh, nice one too. Followed by a high kick there from Manabu Yamada. Yamada just going apeshit on Takeshi, whose chin's come up in the air, and he's trying to just grab a hold. Uh, definitely doing that grappler's uh, striking defense of pulling his head as far away from his opponent as he could while he tries to reach out and grab. But it worked for him. He managed to get Manabu Yamada down to the ground. And break called by the referee. Back standing. Takeshi, no doubt, unhappy about that. Body kick. Uh, what's the likelihood of Apollo Swede's content getting taken down? I'm curious if anyone's as strict with their rights the way NG NJPW is. Uh, so, none of the stuff that he puts up is currently, like, owned by anybody, if that makes sense. 
So the rights to them have lapsed, or the entities that own, that do ostensibly own the footage no longer exist. So, for example, there's the Willy Peters Cage Fight Tournament from Holland. That was a one-and-done promotion, uh, who only ever released the VHS once, and then have done nothing with the footage since. Uh, it's... and he doesn't post any stuff that was, uh broadcast by Samurai TV or anything like that. So as far as he's going, he's going pretty well. The only one that is concerning is Rings, because Akira Maeda can be a bit of a dick about that. And I was supposed to listen to people's names, but I missed it. Uh, this is Noboru Asahi, the Shuto monster, up against some guy. So I'm going to have to go have a look at this one. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Just let me hit a pause there. I need a new window, because I was supposed to look up the fight card properly, but I couldn't find it in its completed form. Ah, let's go there, and we'll go via Shadow Dog rather than Topology this time, because hopefully it will link us through to the um, actual fight card. Uh, so it's either of these. New tab. New tab. I believe Noboru Asahi versus Tomoyuki Sato, I believe this is. Let me just double check. Yep, that's what it looks like. It is Noboru Asahi taking on our man Tomoyuki Saito. So I actually have the fight card open now, so I can actually see what's going on. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm aware, none of his stuff has been taken down except for stuff that was uh, broadcast by Samurai TV, so he stopped putting that up. Uh, that was battle arts events and that sort of thing, and so because uh, Samurai TV are. They're on to you about that sort of thing. So he's now he's rethought it, sort of looked through, looked into the rights of who like owns things and make sure that it's owned by corporations that are no longer solvent or exist or have any sort of presence. And nothing that he is posting up has been commercially available for at least ten years. Alrighty, let us continue with Noboru Asahi taking on Tomoyuki Saito. Alrighty, takedown from Asahi, straight into a triangle and or armbar attempt. Oh, Imanari rolls! Uh, Barium Bolo's on the leg there. Uh, all you dicks, all you BJJ <laughs> nerds coming out here saying, look at this new school BJJ, all this stuff that's being invented. He is Noboru Asahi, Barium Bolo-ing back in 1990. Hard low kick in on that uh, knee tapping single leg, all the way down into Saito's guard, down on the straight ankle lock, working for the heel hook here, knee bar. Nice change there from Noboru Asahi, changing from heel hook to knee bar, but our man Saito has managed to roll out of it. Alright, back fighting. Yeah, Nomura Asahi desperately wants this on the ground. Does not want to strike at all. Oh! Nearly went for a uh, rolling armbar there from the three-quarter Nelson. That was sick, but uh, a man Saito managed to pull out of it at the uh, opportune moment. Saito in the tights there, Nomura Asahi in the uh, biker shorts and kick pads. He's got a big old head on him, Asahi. <laughs> Shooting in John John Smith low single and or Kazushi Sakuraba low single. Taito reaching for the ropes there. Oh, nice uh, trip there. Awesome trip into the straight ankle lock. Uh, not triangling his legs on the leg lock attempts. Nice rollouts from Saito. Managing to defend Noboru Asahi's various attacks here. Now, that's the issue. So, you're looking at this stuff here and it looks... Very good. It looks very modern. The issue is the space and the holes. And this was something that um, 
Bas Rutten was talking to Hickson at a Pancras show, and he's like, oh, so what do you think of Pancras? And uh, Hickson said, oh, you know, it's very good. They're doing a lot of new stuff with the grappling, but there's a lot of space. I see lots of holes. And that is the difference between... Oh, straight into the armbar from the uh, single leg attack. And uh, tap there. Noboru Asahi is your winner. That was a bit anticlimactic there. But yeah, so what's going on here? Why is this paused out so weirdly? I'm just gonna... Oh no, the, uh, the tape's still rolling. It's just kind of froze up on the one uh, thing there for some reason. So let's hope that sorts itself out. There we go. Uh, so what Hickson said was that there was a lot of space in the techniques, and that's what you can see there with Noboru Asahi. A lot of the uh, attacks are very modern-looking, very sort of new-skill BJJ, but the issue is they're not as tight as they need to be. There is too much space between him and the opponent. That laser-sharp focus of the simplicity of old BJJ techniques has not occurred here in Shuto. Uh, and so that is why uh, a lot of these guys got stopped, <laughs> unfortunately, when they faced BJJ guys. With the exception of Ruman Asato, of course. But he had a uh, tight... Sorry about the uh, booping. I do live next to a school, so they have their uh, hour bell going off. Of course, there's no one there at the school currently, because we're in... Uh... Nice! A uh, single leg straight into the Achilles lock here from... Uh... Oh! Into the tap! Didn't even get a chance to look up these guys' names. Uh, that was... Kanichi Tanaka taking on Tetsuyo Yokoyama there and just wrecked him with an Achilles lock in uh, no time at all. Uh, we're going to right click, we're going to view, we're going to turn off minimal interface, and we're going to go backwards a little bit. We're going to watch that fight again from the start. Alright, there we go. Let's watch that again and actually talk about it. Because that was sick. Alrighty. Rolling. Alright, so we get a low kick. Get a extremely low kick. Calf kick there gets checked. Body kick catches the body kick into the single leg attempt. Uh, changes the single leg from the outside to the inside. Drags across on the heel. Uh, sort of dumps and at the same time as he's dumping with the single leg, like cracking down on it, he drops back on the Achilles hold. That is rad. I am stealing that. Alrighty. Uh, so we get some more video interfacing interlacing problem because the edit on this uh, 1990 VHS tape of Shuto is not very good. <laughs> All right, here we have Kaoru Todori taking on Kazuhiro Kuzayanagi. Fuck you, Kazuhiro Kuzayanagi. I believe that's who I'm thinking of. Ah, yes. In 2014, Kuzanagi was arrested on suspicion of paying for sex with a 14-year-old child in September 2018. Yeah, so fuck that guy. <laughs> but we will watch his fight. Nice uh, takedown from Kuzanagi there, but also fuck that guy. Uh, into an arm lock attack here. Using an underhook, uh, not Raigoshi, because he didn't lift the leg. Underhook Ogoshi, major... Outer throw. Wearing, once again, the champion tights. There was a time before they wore a fucking sports uh, fashion thing that they were going for that armbar there. Old mate's trying to bridge out of it and kick over the head. There he is. Finally gets the next scissors, but whether or not he'll be able to get anything out of it, he's still stuck. But yeah, uh, what happened to champion martial arts? I'm sure they're making a lot of money, but uh, it makes me sad because they're currently more of a sports fashion than a sports item thing. There was a time where you could get a set of blue champion sports tights and or half tights and wear them while engaged in a professional wrestling match and or shoot fight and you'd be sick and Kuzanagi gets the tap there, but also fuck that guy. Um, and there was a time that you could do that, but that time has come and gone. No longer uh, champion tights the... Uh, the choice of the shooting master. They are now the choice of the fitness model Instagrammer. And a shame that is. Uh, 
All right, who we got next? All right, in the main event, we have Yasuto Sekishima taking on Kenji Kawaguchi. But first, we've got somebody coming to the... Somebody in an absolutely awful looking uh, tracksuit coming to the uh, ring. Possibly they're announcing a match for the next event. Ah, uh, yes, from the looks of things. <laughs> Absolutely no hype at all there. <laughs> Just having the two guys meet in the middle of the ring and shake hands. Yeah, that, that's a great way to promote a fight. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, main event, Kenji Kawaguchi taking on Yasuto Sekishima. Kenji Kawaguchi we would see later in Valley Tudo, Japan. As for Sekishima, I do not know what else we'd see him in. Both guys in tights here with a nice uh, set of stripes. Pink for Kawaguchi and silver for Sekishima. Inside low kicks from Kawaguchi. Referee calling for action already because the guys are just sort of probing each other with low kicks and not doing anything. Alrighty, low kicks. Lots of low kicks. Come on, Kawaguchi, do something interesting. Given that we've had, what, four fights in a row where it's been submissions in sub three minutes, and then this one we've got uh, guys probing at each other with low kicks. Un utterly unacceptable. Kawaguchi overhooking the rope there like a cheating son of a bitch. Sort yourself out, Kawaguchi. Or at least let the referee call him on it. Uh, nice body lock here from Sekishima. Trying to work for a dumping suplex of Kawaguchi. And break. <laughs> Kawaguchi shoves him away. What a heel. Alright, back at the distance here. Kawaguchi moving his head around like he thinks that's what a boxer look like. Speaking of what a boxer look like, I saw the worst video uh, I've ever seen in a little while. <laughs> I don't know why it popped up in my uh, recommendation feeds. No, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to start YouTube beef with some random historical European martial arts guy. Let's not do that. Let's just say it was two guys that thought they were the absolute coolest thing since uh, sliced bread talking about sword fighting. And you know, sword fighting is pretty cool, but they uh, they were not right about the stuff they were saying about boxing. Let's uh, let's go that far. And I'm not even a boxer, and I know that we're not right. All right, here we are. Still at the uh, distance here. I'm also one of them may or may not have had a white supremacist tattoo. It was one of those Celtic wheels where you're like, is that one of the racist ones or is that one of the non-racist ones? Slothmaster101, a pleasure to see you here. Uh, oh, awesome belly to belly there from our man uh, Sekishima. Into the pro wrestling headlock from uh, Kawaguchi. He gets bridged over by Sekishima and Sekishima finishes the bridge. Kawaguchi goes belly down and they end up tangled up in the ropes. Back take from Sekishima. Steps off the back take. Kawaguchi manages to return to standing and a uh, grip around the middle. But yeah, that's something interesting. You gotta be careful if you're gonna get a bunch of Celtic or old European tattoos because a bunch of them got uh, co opted by the Nazis. Uh, and so now, if you get one of the cooler looking ones, it's quite possible that those evil fascist fucks stole it from the rest of the world. Same with like eagles. Can't have eagles on anything anymore. Nazis ruined that as well. Alright, low kicks from. Kawaguchi. Nice low kicks from Kawaguchi. Ooh, solid low kicks there in the second round here. It's really uh, throwing me off that they're not having the uh, round breaks, so I can't, like, take a breath and think and bullshit about things. I've got to, like, try and sneak it in in lulls in the fight. Nice body kick from Kawaguchi there to the left side. A lot of switch kicks, a lot of quick, stiff kicks. Very tiger mask from all these guys. It's always cool to see. Kawaguchi once again hooking onto the ropes. 
And he's like lifting up his hands, showing the referee that he's not grabbing onto the ropes and then immediately grabbing the ropes again. <laughs> Awful. Yes, ref. Call him on it. That's better. All right, let's go. Pleasure to see you again, Sloth Uh Alistair holds a black belt in Boomerang Do. Uh, uh, so, for those of you that do not know, I've been training pro wrestling for the past uh, six months? Seven months? No, no, since uh, October last year. So the past sort of nine months. Uh, and um, one of my potential options for a character is a Australian traditional martial artist man. Oh, another enormous... Uh, takedown from Sekishima here is oh, another belly to belly loving it loving the way this guy wrestles it is not safe uh it is stupid but it looks cool and Kawaguchi on the front headlock here but yeah so one of the characters is essentially Rex Con Quan Do but if he was Australian so I've got to think of like an Australian name for a uh fake martial art and uh I don't think Boomerang Do is uh <laughs> What I'm going to do. I also sewed together a an Australian flag gi for this character to wear, but um, whether or not I commit to him is a different matter. All right, here we go. Nice long straight punches from Kawaguchi there. I want to see more of uh, Sekishima just wrestling Kawaguchi to death, just throwing him around like a bitch. One, two from Kawaguchi. Back into the... Uh... Belly to belly, but uh, Kawaguchi managed to sprawl out on that one. And Slothmaster says, Ooh, yeah! In his uh, best uh, Randy the Macho Man voice. Uh, unfortunately, the the time of just doing a bunch of cocaine and then going out and screaming for your uh, promo is no longer, uh, no longer flies in the world of <laughs> pro wrestling. At least not down here in Australia. So that's... Uh, it's definitely where my skills are lacking is in, in my promotional abilities. I talk too fast is a big problem. All right, low kick here. Nicely checked from Sekishima. Another one nicely checked from Sekishima. Obviously, his leg has been stinging from the previous rounds. And uh, thankfully, these guys are in kick pads. So, oof. And just as I say, he was checking them. Uh, nice one gets landed by Sekishima. And then... Not Sekishima, by Kawaguchi, and Sekishima throws one hard one back. Nice uh, left hook from Sekishima. But yeah, in all the uh, hubbub recently about Conor McGregor breaking his shin, there was some talk about... Nice arm um, body lock takedown there from Sekishima. He sucks at control on the ground, but he's good at getting uh, Kawaguchi down. Uh, there was talk about putting shin guards on fighters, and people were like, no, no, it won't work with grappling. And I'm like, did none of them watch Shuto? Or Pancras? Or Rings? Uh, like... Or C-class MMA, uh, like, if you wear thin, nicely, closely fitted shin guards, uh, it's pretty good. And it allows you to kick harder. Uh, not sure if it'll protect you from snapping your own shin, because it still happened to... Uh... Oh, nice uh, punches there from Sekishima. Uh, Kawaguchi gets a Muay Thai clinch. Another belly-to-belly -belly from Sekishima, but he lands on his own head and Kawaguchi comes out on top. But yeah, uh, back in Pancras, our man... Uh, what was his name? Uh, Kazuo Takahashi. Uh, he was in a fight against Bus Rutten, and Bus Rutten inside heel hooked him. Uh, the heel hook weakened, uh, Takahashi's shin. They returned to standing, and Takash Takahashi threw a low kick as hard as he could at Bus Rutten, and Bus Rutten checked it. And Takahashi's leg got turned into a nunchuck through the shin guards. So, uh, they are not a, uh, catch-all solution. Uh, shin, car, shin pads do indeed look cool. Speaking of looking cool, if you want to be uh, a cool guy like me and wear some custom fitted uh, shin guards, uh, place an order in at the uh, email address that is somewhere on my uh, channel. They, uh, I've got sort of three thicknesses of foam now. I've got ones that are literally just for show. Like, they still work, but they are very thin. I've got a nice sort of intermediate position that I think is probably going to be like the standard from now. And I've got this one, which is nice 20 mil thick, uh, 80 uh, kilograms per meter cube stuff. Uh, Justin Delicia broke his shin in the third fight with Maskatsu Funaki. Yes, I remember watching that one. That one was just ruthless the way Funaki was going after it. 
But yeah, this one is sort of like Muay Thai. You can see it's very stiff, uh, sort of Muay Thai style shin guard there. So uh, I have options for all three for anybody who wants them. And the classic fight where Master destroyed his legs on stop. Yes, that one is a great fight. Uh, I quite enjoyed watching that one. Because I get conflicted about Jason DeLucia. Like, he's so close to being cool. Because he does kung fu, and but he actually knows how to fight, and he's in decent shape, and he looks like just a guy from, like, an old kung fu movie. But he's also just a huge nerd. <laughs> and, like, his techniques are cool. He's got great side kicks and great hook kicks, and uh, pretty good grappling from his time at the Lion's Den, and with uh, the Gracies before that. But, oh, nice punches here. But he's also just an enormous nerd, and, like, tried to curse. Oh, nice, down. There we are. Good knockdown from Kenji Kawaguchi. Like, there was a time he tried to put a kung fu curse on Bus Rutan in their fight. Uh, always complaining to the referee and faking nut shots and that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, so Delusia, so close to being cool, but it's the uncanny valley. The closer you are to being cool but not quite there, the less cool you seem. All right, nicely defended takedown from Kenji Kawaguchi here into a Koshiguruma neck wheel into the pro wrestling headlock as our man Sekishima tries to take his back. I apologize if you hear some background noise, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, I live next to a school, so there may be children screaming at some point. Uh, what about John Loeb's shin being broken by Ryushi Nagasawa with a toe hold from Jarvis Young? Um, I thought that was his ankle that got separated, just the way it like nunchucked back around. Uh, Eric Paulson said that Delucia was a two-faced person. Yeah, yeah, I can I can believe that. It seemed to be a problem that a lot of the uh, Lion's Den guys faced. Uh, it's incredible how long Pancras kept Jason around once he wasn't associated with the Lion's Den anymore. Uh, he was a big name, and they were running out of them at that point. Uh, he was a guy that the fans knew. He was still a fairly decent fighter, and he was a good name for like the younger guys, like... Um, uh, Kenichi Yamamoto and Yuki Kondo and that sort of thing to get a win over. Like, he was still a decent enough competitor. Alright, here we are back standing. Speaking of Pancras, I should probably do Pancras videos again at some point. I'm doing, like, one every four months now. <laughs> now it's just, uh, I'm, I'm a highlight video, uh, guy now. There's kids in Alistair's basement just like Travis Fulton. Ooh, bruh. <laughs> Oh dear, yeah, the, the, the Travis Fulton thing is fucked. Uh, he hung himself recently in prison because he uh, has been found with exploitative material of children on his computer and various other things, which is disgusting and foul and is just an awful fall from a guy that many people, you know, considered one of the one of the guys in MMA, one of the pure fighters, and here he is just being this awful human being in the background. It's, it's fucking... Extremely disappointing. So uh, now we must all stand Jeremy Horn. Let's just uh, let's let's wipe Travis Fulton from uh, existence and uh, everyone who was a Travis Fulton fan become a Jeremy Horn fan because apparently he's still good. Although uh, I did claim that Jeremy Horn has a sex. <laughs> all right, here we are, final round of this Pancras, not Pancras, Shuto card. I've got Pancras on the brain, obviously. All right, jabs from Sekishima. Counter hook from Kawaguchi and a stepping jab into the Muay Thai clinch from Sekishima. Not uh, from Kawaguchi, Sekishima committing his hips there, preventing the knees from landing. Going for a foot sweep. But the problem is he's burned himself doing out all those suplexes and so now it's super hard to take down uh, Kawaguchi. Break and stand up, says the referee. Alright, back fighting. Let's see what these guys can do. Alright, body kick. Body kicks from Sekishima. Sekishima's going for it. Good on him. Long jab from Sekishima. Gets that kick checked. Low kick again. Big long punch from Sekishima. Sekishima really teeing off here. I'm liking it. It's good to see. Let's see where these guys can go. Another high kick. Another low kick. Not very much. 
The grappling in this last one has been pretty basic. Uh, we, we got spoiled by um, Takashi and uh, uh, Noboru Asahi. Eli Easy, the Game Hunter, once again, late. Oh dear, I, I did post ahead of time this time, rather than just doing it. So uh, obviously you don't follow me on Twitter, which you should do. Because <laughs> I uh, post there when I'm going to stream. Evidently, maybe that's not the uh, thing. I also haven't worked out how to like schedule them. Which is something I probably need to work on. Alright, backstanding. Body kicks. Let's go, Sekishima. I, I have turned on Kenji Kawaguchi here. I, I, I no longer like him. Uh, Eli is he Twitter is evil lol. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> Depends where you are. My uh, corner of Twitter is literally just like five guys talking to each other about shoot wrestling and that's about it. Uh, and IQ wrestler posting pictures of his goats. So uh, I, I miss out on the, the evil parts of Twitter. Alright, low kicks, middle kicks, front kicks, punches. Into the body lock takedown. That's the way Sekishima work on that. But uh, unfortunately, he's let Kawaguchi get back up to his feet. Knees to the head from Kawaguchi. And that is the end of the match. Worst thing about Travis Fulton was he stole Chris Hesman's Vegemite. Uh, perhaps. Uh, Alright, let's hit the uh, pause button there. Because that was the end of that match and that's the end of our event there uh and Eli Easy the game hunter man what happened to Shudo I don't know uh there was a while there it was doing really well it was having um events live on Facebook that were really interesting not Facebook live on um fight pass that were really good um it was producing like really good fighters and then just recently it's sort of fallen off and I think it's basically just an amateur league over in Japan now which is deeply disappointing but that's the way life is sometimes. Uh, all right, let's come to the end of our uh, video there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to expand myself up to fill up the screen so I can actually talk to you all. Uh, thanks very much for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, and watching Shooter with me, even if it was just me and Tony there for a while. Uh, if you enjoyed that, uh, tune in and sort of watch more of my shit because i have more videos of watching old school mma and if you do like old school mma i highly recommend going over to apollo swede's channel he's got a bunch of it there and possibly even following the kakadogi road on patreon uh otherwise uh, i hope you enjoyed that buy some fucking gear from me because i make it and it's really good uh and i shall see you all at some point in the future and thanks very much for tuning in